Okay, let's talk about the mirror modifier. The mirror modifier is very important, especially for modelers, of course. And um, just for a quick demonstration, I'm going to model something like a flower, and I'm going to go through this a bit faster because it's not a modeling tutorial. So edge loop here, edge loop there, and then we're ready to add the mirror modifier. And as you can see, the mirror modifier added uh, the same object, just mirrored across and along the x-axis, and this is because we checked x-axis. If we uh, check Y as well, you can see we have four, not copies, but four mirrored images of this plane. So let's try uh, and um, deforming this a little. And you can see that this is, I don't know, I'll call it flower for this tutorial. Um, yeah, you can see that we have now only one petal, and we made the entire flower with that. And um, if you're modeling and you, for example, want to change the scale of this edge loop, you can just press S, but you can see that's destroying your mesh. And uh, so you have to be very careful when you're scaling vertices in mirror mode. And uh, one easy way to prevent this is clipping. So with clipping, every vertex that hits the axis, which it is mirrored on, or the one that's perpendicular to the one that's mirrored on. Well, you see what I mean, right? Um, then it will stick there. And once you uh, put it there, you cannot move it. So um, be careful with that as well, of course. But uh, this is a great tool to um, to make sure that these kind of accidents don't happen. And uh, I'm going to turn off clipping now. And I'm going to move this. And actually this is, if you, once you have a more complex mesh, that can happen very easily, that your mesh gets these gaps in the middle. And especially if you use the subserve modifier right after that, that can be a bit of a problem. Actually, let's put the subdivision surface modifier before that. And uh, you can see it's now round, even though it's supposed to stick here in the middle. So what you can do is, uh, for example, you select these two, two vertices, assuming that you have only one mirror. Let's turn this off. Cursor to select it, and then tab out of edit mode, Control shift alt c and origin to 3D cursor. And the mirror modifier works along the origin of the object, which is this orange point here. So, of course, if your mesh is further away from the orange point, then your, then your model will, or then the model will no longer be one, it will be separated from the mirrored version of it. So if I turn on clipping, for example, I can move this easily back there. And uh, of course, I'll run into a problem once I'm using the y-axis as well. If I now press Shift-S and cursor to select it, I have, and uh, also uh, uh, put the center to the 3D cursor, I now have a problem with the X direction. And easiest solution, Shift S, cursor to select it. Just select the vertex that all of them have in common, and then origin to 3D cursor. And uh, usually you only have one mirror modifier, and what works best is you have your model selected. Let's assume it's a very complex model with one edge loop uh, to which is uh, which is directly across the center. Then you can go shift while the model is selected, shift S, cursor to select it, and then select the entire loop. Of course, in this case, not this vertex, but this is kind of unusual. If you have one complex model like my grasshopper, you'll have one edge loop that runs across the entire object. And uh, if they are separated like this, you can press point on the keyboard, which does this. It sets the pivot point of the 3D cursor, and uh, then you press S, X, and 0, and that will actually scale all the vertices that you have selected to be, to have um, exactly the same X coordinate as your object does. So they're aligned along the Y axis, and that will close any gap that your um, mirror modifier have might have left you with. Okay. So next option we can check is merge. If we don't check merge, it doesn't make much of a difference as long as you don't add 
more modifiers. Once we add the subsurf modifier, you can see that the subsurf, of course, will regard these these two, uh, these three edges, and will subdivide in between them, rounding this corner. And since our vertices are not merged, this will create a gap in the middle. So just make sure that your vertices are, in fact, aligned. And uh, let's go on to the next option. We can use a mirror object, which is also very handy. We can press uh, Shift A and insert a an empty. And if we then select the, not the parent, this one, select the mirror object to be this empty, the mirror axis will work along the, lo the global position of the one, uh, empty. I'm sorry about that. So if I move the empty, you can see it's changing the mirror center of these objects. Okay. And this is especially handy. And this is especially handy if for example, you need your object center to be somewhere else and not right in the middle, or if you want to animate this. You can uh, see how maybe a couple of parts are forming together just where this uh, object is supposed to uh, yeah, well, merge. Okay, this is, I s I'd say, mostly for animation. I don't use it that often, but it's good that it's there. And um, then we can also mirror the texture coordinates. If I go over to the UV editor, uh, you can see that I have unwrapped this in theory. Uh, no, I did not. I just created this U and project from U. Um, okay, if I now scale this up, you can see that um, I have to go to my materials. I've already set up this material. As I said, this is about the the mirror modifier, not about sculpting and everything, so I'll just use my presets. I have imported a tree here, and right now you can see that the tree gets mapped onto this object that we have over here, and then it gets mirrored along the x-axis, and then once more along the y-axis, so we have four mirrored trees. If I don't want that, I can easily change it by checking U. Now, I'm, um, the U coordinates are like the local X axis of the plane that is the UV unwrap. Planned. If that doesn't make sense, I'm afraid you might have to uh, make a few tutorials about, or watch a few tutorials about the UV coordinates and unwrapping, but just in case you already know, the U and V mirrors can enable you to mirror your texture so that it's uh, distributed in just the way that you need it for your object. Okay, and then one last thing, the vertex groups. And in theory, the vertex groups are great, but in practice I have never gotten them to work. Okay, to test them once more, I'll uh, model the gingerbread man that has been on Wikipedia since I started with Blender, so quite a while. and. Um, I'm going to use the mirror modifier, of course, so I just inserted a subsurf modifier because I want this to be round, and then Control r to insert a loop cut, and this is actually exactly what we need in order to make the mirror modifier work, because if you don't have that loop cut, then uh, and you delete these vertices, you can see that they are, um, that only this phase remains, so um, that's not going to work, so we need some extra geometry. You can delete this later on by using the X edge loop function if you don't want it. Most of the time you'll probably leave it there. X and delete vertices. So now I can add my mirror modifier and of course it's a good idea to put it above the subsurf modifier. Okay. And I'm going to um, speed this up. So um, Okay, now that this is done, I actually ran into one of the, well, I'd say it's one of the most common mirror modifier related problems, and that is we have this weird groove in the middle here. So, um, in order to get rid of this groove, I can press Alt B and then draw a box around this, and you can see now it's cut off anything outside that box, and if I now go to edit mode, I can say face select mode and B 
So right here we have all the faces selected. Um, this actually belongs to the legs, so I have to deselect that one. Sh and X faces and Alt B again. So we have cleared out the middle. And the reason this middle um, actually exists is um, if I subdivide this or if I make a new cube delete those vertices and select this face here and I extrude it you can see that Blender will also extrude this line and I think the only way to get around that is to deselect that edge and then extrude that should work but if you're too lazy like me to deselect the edge you can just go in and delete those vertices later on so okay now our little guy is ready to be rigged so again I'm going to do that and fast forward okay now I've created a simple armature and I'm going to assign this to the gingerbread man so I uh, select the gingerbread man first then shift select the armature press control P and say automatic weights now we can check out what happened and you can see that the bones are now uh, affecting the um, both sides of the mesh and um, while this actually works sort of uh, our leg okay this is mirrored and this is not so honestly I don't get the vertex group mirror function and um, when you hover over this it says the dot r to dot l and the reason why that's actually the reason why I named these cubes dot r because they're the right side from my point of view they're actually his left side but I don't care so they are called bone, bone dot r and if you go over to the vertex groups you can see they're called dot r but still the vertex group mirror modifier does not mirror those and over here it does the same thing actually on both sides and over here it does it mirror so I thought to myself maybe this only works if you apply the mirror modifiers and maybe it only works if you have the correlating bones to that so I went into edit mode press AA shift D and then SX minus 1 and make sure that the pivot point is the center of your little man and uh, you can now see those bones are bone3.r.001 and uh, this is actually good because we can select them all and press W and flip names and you can see this one's called Bone2L, this one's called Bone2R so I thought now we have the, the armature with the bones that are supposed to be the flip vertex groups so I'll go to my uh, little man here again and just apply the modifier and I was hoping that would create the dot L vertex groups mirrored by the little man but also that did not work so if you know how to fix that please leave a comment please tell me I'm dying to find out because I had to get uh, come up with a lot of workarounds for my spiders and grasshoppers and they have a lot of legs so that was a bit annoying so thanks and goodbye